Hey guys, this is Chloe and my name is Marco and today we are presenting you the Whitbread company with a special focus on its strategic human resource management. The company is founded in 1742 as a small brewery situated in the United Kingdom and it developed into a huge multinational hotel coffee shop and restaurant company. Um, it's very known for the premium in hotels which is the biggest hotel chain in the United Kingdom and for the Costa Coffee um, which is a coffee shop um, known in 30 countries. So we see it's a international, very international company with 15,000 employees. So it's a huge challenge for the HRM. Um, Whitbread's vision and values are um, very old from the old Whitbread's spirit, the old farmer, with putting the customer inside of everything they do. Um, especially having winning teams to um, perform very good for in the service and for the customers and in the end having profit, profitable growth in um, everything they do. Yeah, and with the three key values, genuine, confident and committed. They try to be the legendary brand um, by building strong customer heartbeat and being innovative. Um, so the plan for the next five years is to create 15,000 more jobs and to grow their two leading brands over and over again. Um, so, Chloe, how do they want to get there? So this is Louise Smalley, she's the Group HR Director of Whitbread. Um, she was appointed in 2012, but she has 16 years experience working with the company in different HR roles. Um, her three key values are attitude, commitment and the reputation of the company. She also won fourth for the most influential um, HR practitioner in 2012. Um, she has a highly motivated workforce, um, really engaged with the members uh, and uses lean management. This way she uh, eliminates um, mid-management and increases the use of technology. Um, the HRM practices uh, resourcing, they take on people that are qualified but also people that are uneducated and are unemployed. They offer a great training system, uh, they invest £12 million uh, pounds per year on their training um, with also the uh, influence of e-learning, again bringing in the technology to cut out middle management. Uh, the performance management, they use KPIs, a uh, wing card system to uh, monitor and track. Uh, employees' performances, um, employee relations, relations, they can communicate uh, hierarchy or internally. Uh, their reward system, they have an incentive plan by offering uh, salaries with increases and this motivates her workforce. Uh, the health and safety side of things, they have a key um, value of uh, engaging personal life and work life together and the protection of working conditions of the employee. They have a very diverse workforce, um, program-wise. They also focus on uh, people under the age of 18, 11 to 18 in particular. There is a lot of government investment uh, of the company and they have a respect for equality in the workplace. So, Marco will finish you off with a conclusion. Thanks, Chloe. Yeah. As we see, um, Whitbread has been successful for over 250 years. It's the Whitbread spirit to put the people first for creating the winning teams, having customers um, um, who always come to the, this company and it works very well for them. Um, as well, they have the years perform performance performance in corporate social responsibility with volunteering, fundraising and visiting schools. So they actually see that there is some need for doing society work as well. And that's why we would say, um, looking at things we learned at our lectures, that they really deserve this place in the HR Influential Practitioners Ranking. Sorry for that. And thanks for listening and watching and I hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.